Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, September 27th, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Baltimore, Maryland. Renato wrote up another interesting piece of banking malware that in addition to traditional bank accounts also goes for cryptocurrencies account at blockchain.info and perfect money. Now overall it's sort of traditional banking malware. It arrives as a PDF claiming to be an invoice and then it does use that PDF in order to download the actual malware. Now What's happening here once install the malware? It actually doesn't do sort of the browser extension trick. Instead, what it's doing is it installs Fiddler, which is a well-known HTTP proxy, installs Fiddler's root certificate as part of the trusted system certificates. So that way Fiddler can play man in the middle and this is used to then steal credentials. I guess certificate pinning would be a good countermeasure here on the server side. Another risk of this particular malware is that credentials are being exfiltrated unencrypted. Now you may say, hey, this makes it actually easier for data leakage protection devices to detect this activity. But remember that this probably targets mostly home users and the like that don't use devices like this. And IOActive looked at mobile stock trading applications and found, well, no big surprise surprise here that they're not really all that secure, at least not as secure as they should be. And actually, they're less secure than mobile banking applications that IOActive reviewed a couple years ago. Now, you may be able to argue with some of the findings. For example, they do note that a few of the applications keep data like preferred stock watch lists unencrypted on the phone itself. That may be a risk that's some users are willing to take, but uh, passwords, for example, they definitely should not be stored in the clear on the phone itself, in particular considering that the phone may get lost. Some of the more severe flaws are that, for example, TLS connections are not properly validated, allowing for man-in-the-middle attacks. And since many of these applications really are sort of HTML-based, even though they are not running in your normal browser, well, you still have uh, vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting that are affecting some of these applications. Can be used to, for example, inject fake login forms. As far as mitigating these risks, there is little that you can do as a end user, you may be able to add a little bit additional layer of security for mobile devices where using VPNs to connect back to your home network. But then again, from your home network to the bank, it would still go over that badly secured TLS channel in the case where the TLS certificates are not properly validated. Now, in skimming over the article, I didn't see any of the applications named, so I hope that IOActive notified affected banks and that some effort is underway to actually address these vulnerabilities. And of course, recently we have heard a lot about vulnerabilities in Broadcom chipsets and associated firmware. Well, last week, Apple patched a number of these issues in iOS that affected, for example, the iPhone 7. Google today published a proof of concept exploit for just this vulnerability. The proof of concept exploit should work against iPhone 7 running the old version of iOS 10. And the exploited vulnerability is CVE 2017-11120. And Trend Micro is reporting that they found Android malware that takes advantage of the dirty cow vulnerability. Now, this vulnerability is a approach escalation vulnerability. It was announced in November 2016, so a little bit less than a year ago. This is apparently the first time that it has shown up in the wild. Now, since it's a approach escalation vulnerability, the way it is exploited in this particular case 
case is that the user is being tricked into installing an application on their phone and then once they run the application the dirty cow exploit is used in order to escalate privileges and install respective back doors well and that's it for today so thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow bye